George Michael tried to end relationship with boyfriend Fadi Fawaz. George Michael tried to end his relationship with boyfriend Fadi Fawaz repeatedly in the 18 months before his death and had even banned him from his house. George Michael tried to split up with boyfriend Fadi Fawaz a number of times in the last 18 months, according to a relative. The Wham! Star, who died at his home in Goring, Oxfordshire, on Christmas Day, aged 53, reportedly told Mr. Fawaz not to come back in a bid to break up with him for good. However, the family source insists Michael's weakness of being unable to say no found him repeatedly going back to his lover. The relative told the son, on more than one occasion George told Fadi he no longer wanted to see him, but each time they would find themselves back in touch. George was so kind and generous, but he said to me many times that his biggest weakness was he could never say no to anything sex, drugs he had that sort of personality. In many ways he was quite a vulnerable person, because he always said yes. He never stood his ground. The cause of death of the singer who had battled with drugs and depression, was said to have been heart failure. But after the first post-mortem results were inconclusive and further tests were ordered, the mystery surrounding his last moments has deepened. On January 2, Mr. Fawaz denied sending tweets saying the star was suicidal, claiming his Twitter account had been hacked. The confusion was compounded when Mr. Fawaz, who originally said he spent the weekend at the mansion in Goring on Thames, told a newspaper he'd slept in his car overnight. Yesterday, it emerged that Mr. Fawaz and his father joined Michael on a secret trip to a hospital in Vienna last November to see two top doctors, a month before he died. The pop star jetted into the Austrian capital in a private jet to see doctors at Ock General Hospital, where his life was saved when he had pneumonia in 2011. At the time Mr. Fawaz had said they made the trip to sell an item in November last year, according to the Daily Mirror. Following Michael's death on Christmas Day at his home in Goring, Oxfordshire, Dr. Christoph Zielinski, head of oncology and respiratory specialist at the Austrian hospital, tweeted, in sorrow about the unexpected death of George Michael. His caring team from the Vienna Ock express deep sympathy with family and friends. Dr. Zielinski and his colleague Dr. Thomas Stoutinger were the two doctors who saw Michael the month before he died. The top doctors at one of the largest hospitals in Europe helped to save the singer's life six years ago when he collapsed with severe chest pains before a gig. Michael underwent a tracheotomy and was unconscious for three after the heavy smoker suffered scarring on his lungs. After the treatment the Wham! star gave staff 1,000 free concert tickets. Last week it was revealed Michael may have spent £2 million during a year staying at a luxurious rehab clinic that helps the rich and famous kick drugs and alcohol. The star had long periods of treatment at the Kusnasht practice, near Zurich, which calls itself the world's most exclusive treatment centre. Guests pay £70,000 a week for care including electric shock therapy and Mr. Michael will have known one of its most senior clinicians is a renowned therapist who helps gay men and women overcome depression or addiction. Michael received at least 10 visitors in the days before he died proving he was not a loner. Police are attempting to piece together the cause of his demise and amid the speculation is that he had become insular and died from an overdose. The guests all stopped by his rural cottage in Oxfordshire in the days leading to his death as well as a number of deliveries which suggest he was planning a Christmas get-together. Pictures show a solemn-looking man in his fifties at the address on December 23 as well as a number of friends carrying gifts, according to the Mirror. A woman also delivered flowers, a handyman fixed a light outside and an Akadu driver dropped off at least three bags of groceries to the pop icon's home. Michael's boyfriend Mr. Fawaz, who has since been quizzed by police as part of their investigation, was also seen in and out of the property. The tragic star, who died on Christmas Day at the age of 53, was not pictured. A source told The Mirror, it was very busy at the house in the days before George died. A number of people were coming and going, delivering various items. It looked like they were preparing for a gathering which makes George's death even more tragic. He definitely wasn't alone. He looked to be surrounded by many people who cared about him. 
Michael's death on Christmas Day at his Oxfordshire mansion aged just 53 brought an outpouring of grief from his fans around the world. New test results are expected to be established within six to eight weeks which could help shed some light on how the legendary singer came to his premature death.